the last problem, you learned how to write functions. Um, and you end up finding out, hey, the independent, the dependent variable depended on the independent variable. That was the big message. Another way to think about it, if you're confused about what's the independent variable, when you read through a problem, just ask yourself, does this, in this example, number of square feet, does it depend on anything? No. The independent variable is easy to spot out because it depends on nothing. However, dependent variables depend on something and they depend on the independent variable. Okay, moving forward, let's look at evaluating functions. So in this example, let me choose a new color. We've been using yellow a lot. So in this example, let's say that you have the function f of x equals 2x, and what you're asked to do is find f of x when x equals 10 and when it equals 12.5. Let me put this down below. When x equals 10 and when x equals 12.5. Okay, so what you're going to do with both of these values of x, you're going to substitute them and plug them right back in to x. So now you have for when x equals 10, f of 10 equals 2 times 10. Well, 2 times 10 is 20, so f of x, or f of 10, equals 20. Now, if you look at x equals 12.5, you're going to substitute 12 point in for x, and you'll find out that, well, 12.5 times 2, let me write it out first, but 12.5 times 2 is 25. So f of 12.5 equals 25, because 2 times 12.5, or 12.5 doubled, equals 25. Don't forget, box your answers.